Uber's future is at stake. For both customers and drivers, this means seeing more of a personal touch. Okay. Gareth's a typical Uber driver who prizes flexibility in his life. He combines being a stand-up comedian, homeschooling his son, with an average eight hours a day behind the wheel. In the time that you've been working for Uber, how has their attitude towards their drivers changed? When I, I did have an issue with something and I, I had to send an email and there was no number to call. So this, I think that's really nice. It's always nice to speak to a human and not kind of go through a series of FAQs on a, on a screen. Serious worries about Uber's safety and security led to TfL taking away its licence last year. Uber says its new measures, such as a telephone hotline and more of the driver's details being available to customers, are a sign that it's learned its lesson. What's your relationship like with TfL at the moment? You know, we're in constructive conversations with TfL, and today some of the announcements that we've made are responding to the criticism that we've had for them. So we've got a new approach to reporting incidents to the police, and we hope this demonstrates that we've listened to the feedback and we're making a positive change. Uber's battle to stay on our streets is very much a public one. When it lost its licence, more than half a million people signed a petition to get TfL to change its mind. But Transport for London holds all the cards here, and it's making sure its rules will reflect the way public transport in London has changed. For example, it's looking at capping the number of hours drivers can work and forcing companies to hand their data to the government. One suggestion from TfL was a service for women only. Why? Can you imagine if someone said Ubers are going to be men only? There'd be an outrage. It's a good idea, I think. Um, also, I think people can make use of the other features they have, like you can send your tracking information to friends anyway. Um, but it's a good idea, especially if it makes people feel more safe. It's just assuming that the men are like have bad intentions, I guess, but you never know who you're going to be in a car with. And this is all about intentions. Uber wants to keep its 40,000 drivers and its 3 million customers here in London. To do so, it has to be seen to be turning a corner.